How much uh, can you take away what, what the Raiders were when McDaniels is there compared to what you saw last week? I, I think it's really difficult to install a brand new offense in a matter of week to week. So um, there's going to be a lot of similarities from a schematic standpoint. How it gets called a little bit different. Um, felt like he leaned on the, the run a little bit more than Josh had, but um, it's a very similar offense. What did you see from uh, Aiden O'Connor last week? A guy that doesn't look like a rookie by any means. Um, great poise. Uh, you know, we're fortunate that um, Coach Downing spent almost two days with him out of Purdue in the pre-draft process. So he gave us a lot of insight regarding the character of the man. The football intelligence, all of that. And, um, you know, he spoke, he just raved about uh, the kid and how he processed and how he could, his recall. And his football intelligence was way more so than, than most rookies. So, and, and that absolutely shows on tape. He gets through his progressions fast. He delivers the ball accurately. He's a... Uh, um, and he's got a little bit of crafty, sneaky athleticism to kind of extend plays and move around. So um, it's going to be a great challenge. Are you planning on having Sauce travel wherever Devontae goes? You know, that, that's not really what we do schematically. Saying that, we've played with that a little bit in the past, you know. So maybe, maybe we'll see. You say you guys are excited. Do you notice from Sauce and DJ, I know they're all great receivers, but when you play a guy at this level, that they get up a little more for that? I don't know if they necessarily get up more, but they definitely embrace the challenge of it. They, they definitely are two guys. And Michael Carter, you put in that same equation, he, uh, they thrive when it's the elite guys. And I really believe they approach every guy the same way, but just there's a little bit, not necessarily they're picking their game up, just maybe a little bit more excitement for an opportunity to demonstrate that they're one of the best. Has uh, Quinn expressed any frustration about not getting sacks to you, and or anything you can do as a play caller to scheme ways to get him sacks? Yeah, well, I mean, we're always looking ways to feature guys, and um, especially your best players. So we'll continue to do that. Saying that, he is. Um, I mean, he is winning, it feels like, at a historic rate. Is he getting sacks? No, but he is winning. He is affecting quarterbacks. He has got um, an exceptional pressure rate, the best pressure rate of his career at this point. Um, and I know it's not always demonstrating stacks. It's not always illustrating stacks, but um, he is still playing at a elite level. I've, I've played with a Hall of Famer. I know what it looks like in Bryant Young, and um, he embodies all that Bryant embodied. And what you guys see on tape is a guy that's just absolutely a game wrecker. Game wrecker in the run game for sure. Game wrecker as a pass rusher just from the winning percentage standpoint of things. But then on top of all that, and this was the same with Bryant Young, he is an exceptional teammate. Ex an exceptional human being. A guy that is absolutely in it for um, his teammates, this team, this organization um, above himself. And um, we're just we're lucky to have him. It's the reason you invest in a guy like that and you pay a guy like that. He's just He's off the charts in every way, football, on the field, and off the field. What have you thought about his first career half sack? What have you liked from his progression as he has gone along? I just, I, I just like that you could see the game starting to slow down for him. You know, what we've seen at practice through the first 10 weeks of the season was just like amazing ability and potential. Um, and then, as with most rookies, it it doesn't show up right away. You know, there's there's an element to this game that's it's very fast. It's very overwhelming at first for most rookies. You know, and I'm not saying that he was overwhelmed or too fast for him, but you didn't necessarily see all the stuff that we saw at practice. I think you're starting to see it now. The speed, the bend, the ability, the just the freaky movement and balance. You know, it's all starting to show up on Sundays. Have you had to uh, talk to Carl Lawson? He's obviously being a healthy scratch a few times. How do you deal with the veteran? played so much in the league, but is not now. Yeah, he, he is uh, – Carl has all of my respect in so many ways. He's a guy that, you know, he's he's been a high-level starter in this league. He's been a high-level starter for us, you know, and in saying that, the fact that um, – for whatever the reasons are that he's not playing, he's not dressing, he still is an exceptional teammate. He's a guy that on game day, whereas a lot of guys of his stature, his status, and done as much as they've done in this league, would really have a hard time not dressing at times on Sundays and Mondays and Thursdays and Fridays and the rest of it. But he's a guy that um, no matter what the circumstance, he's on the sideline. He's telling the defensive line what he sees. He's helping them. He's uh, cheering them on. He's, he's doing all the stuff that you wouldn't expect from a guy with his stature, not playing.